Hey guys, it's Joe from Keep Forest. Welcome to our quick tip series. Today we're going to create a cinematic intro in under five minutes. Let's have a listen to what we made. So I've loaded up Breakout Pro, I've got some MIDI stretched out and my key selected. I'm going to select individual sounds for each unit now. So by holding Alt and clicking on the first, selecting the whole library, turning it off and on, that's going to empty each unit and allow me to choose what I do want there. For the first unit I'm going to choose some hits, I want some brass and brams for the second, uh, something atmospheric for unit 3, maybe ambient signals. Let's go for some Atmos Resonation for 4 and 5, we're going to choose probably some booms. Um, let's look, signatures for six, signals for seven, and let's finish off with some mold resonations. So that's all loaded up. Let's give it a little spin and see what the result is. <laughs> yeah, awesome. So let's go on to our variation then. Um, I'm gonna copy the patch from the first one just so we can make some edits. A lot of the right sounds are already dialed in, so I'm gonna change the second to a bender of some sort get a bit of variation there and for unit six i'm going to change the type of signature um just to get some variation and again we'll give it a spin and have a listen <laughs> amazing that's sounding awesome already cool so that's a really nice foundation let's start building on top of that so I've got a new multi-patch loaded up here. Uh, I've doubled over the MIDI there um, to make the loop longer. I like to basically introduce one of these multi-patches and just audition various elements. So I turn them all down um, and then I'm going to just introduce maybe one at a time and see what works. So let's start with TikTok maybe. So let's add another rise edge here and get some signals and some rising elements, I think. So I've got a brand new breakout pro loaded up. I've got MIDI across the entire second half of the loop. I'm going to get rid of the four units on the side here and move their MIDI across to the right as we don't really need those. Um, I probably want a boom, a couple of signals and a riser. So let's get that set up just within the actual units here. Uh, we go to hits and choose a boom. And then for the second unit, I go for a classic signal. Same for the third, um, and yeah, let's get a riser in this fourth one. Probably number six, I'm a fan of that one. So I need to make sure the patch is on start from first hit so that the boom actually starts our loop off. Uh, and let's get these beeps arranged um, kind of halfway through each bar. So this one here, let's go for the second and move it along there. I want the rise to kind of end at the end of the four bar loop, so I'm gonna put the end point there, make it a little bit longer. So let's actually have a look at our sounds. Let's test them out. All right, maybe let's switch this one for another classic signal. Yeah, I like seven. Let's change the pitch here so it matches the tune a bit more. Sweet. And let's just play it. All right, and with everything else. Amazing. So I've got one final thing to do. I'm just going to add a Devastator Brahm. Let's have a look through those. Set the key and just test a few out, so. Yeah, I'm feeling that one. Let's just have this last bar be dominated by that sound, so. Cool, let's test the whole loop then. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.